everything happens for a reason. Everything happens within a season. You hear this often. And with knowing this, we condense a moment to a memory because we think of it as just being a season without taking into account that although seasons change, they will always remain the same with variating factors that still maintain a consistent reason. During autumn, the leaves are going to fall, no doubt about it. During the spring, the flowers are going to bloom. During the summer, especially in Florida, it is going to be blistering hot. It's going to be hot as hell during the summer. During the winter, up north in New York, Virginia, it's going to snow. There's going to be ice on the road. It's going to be cold as hell. And hell's not even cold. So the seasons change, but the reason for that season will always remain the same. And sometimes we condense a moment to a memory because we just dilute it to just being a season without seeking the reason for that season. For peace of mind, you may return to a once dysfunctional dynamic to reassure yourself on your decision to leave because you want to exhaust every possible opportunity that could incite functionality within that relationship. And to do that, you go back. Because when you left, you left abruptly and with no formal departure. Sometimes we go through a season for a reason. And we leave because we went through a season that incited a change. And most of the times when you do leave a relationship, like intimately, romantically speaking, or just platonically speaking, when you leave a relationship, you often leave because the foundation is unstable. And to stabilize that foundation, you feel as though you must leave as an individual to stabilize yourself, so in turn, you can stabilize that collective. Because being a part of that dynamic was unstable. There was no security, no order, no communication, no comprehension. So you left to incite change because of the change you were experiencing, because of the season you were going through. And sometimes I feel as though when we go through seasons, we just feel like we go through seasons and we never go through that part of that season again. We just we just don't return. Like once we go through something with a group of people and it's very like climactic and tumultuous, we're just like, okay, I went through it. I left it, I'm never, ever, 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 ever going back. But it's just like, yes, it was climactic. Yes, there was turmoil. But does that really mean you have to distance yourself eternally from that person, from that collective? Because you went through a season for a reason. So I feel as though when you leave abruptly and you leave without reasoning and you leave without announcing what is inciting your change, you can end up leaving with a burden and leave feeling just as heavy as you were when you were in that relationship as an individual alone. Myself, I'm within a friendship that suffered a gradual decline which basically led us to a temporary disconnect. Due to the lack of comprehension, accountability, communication, and to some degree maturity, the relationship began to decline. Currently within that relationship, I find myself naturally gravitating back to it because there still exists an internal conflict that was not resolved with my abrupt departure. And me leaving, I thought that getting myself together would get everyone else together. And it didn't necessarily do that. I'm not gonna say that it didn't incite um, a beneficial change within that relationship, but there's still aspects of that relationship that still prove to be a bit stagnant. I left that season so abruptly that I wasn't even able to resolve within that relationship or even within myself 
what the reason was. Like, what was the reason for the season? So naturally, I gravitated back to it. You know, when I left that season, I left for a reason. I left for the reason of never going back because you just have this mentality that when you go through a season with someone, you experience it, you learn your lesson, and you leave them alone. So that's what I did. That was my reason. I went through a season. I felt undervalued, underappreciated, wasn't being listened to. That's how I felt. So... I left. That was my reason. I left. I said, you know what? I left. I'm not going back. But still, even in leaving, I felt even more connected, almost attached to that relationship and to those people to the point where I naturally gravitated back to that relationship because there was something within me that I needed to rectify within myself to determine whether or not I needed to leave or stay. So that's what I'm doing. You know, my approach is not the same as it once was. My understanding of that relationship is more developed than before. So being a part of that relationship, being a part of that dynamic, what happened before will not happen again. I can't guarantee it, but I can say that my knowledge, my wisdom, my discernment has been readjusted given my experiences and knowing these people. I'm not saying like they're bad people or my intent going back to this relationship is malicious it's just like when you go through a season with someone and you are seeking reasoning and you did like I did and you left abruptly and now you're going back to that season to understand what is the reason for that relationship what is the reason for any conflict what is the reason for even the good aspects of that relationship when you're going back to seek the reason for the season Your approach must be different because you're going in differently. The season is the same. You know, for example, I'm going back to summer. I already experienced summer once, but summer came back around and now I got to experience it another time. I can experience autumn once, but now that I'm going back to that season because I left it for another season, I have to approach it differently. It's still the same season, but it's a different approach. I've learned from the past and I will use it to guide me into the future. But the awareness that I have presently, it's just being used to better understand that relationship, better understand that dynamic. Because leaving, I thought I wouldn't have to go back. Anything that I've ever left in life, I've never gone back to because I always ended up finding something better. But with this relationship, I can't say that it was the worst thing for me, so I left it. But I can't say the dynamic at that time when I left it was the best thing for me, so I needed to go back. But because I'm still connected to this relationship, to these people, you know, I just went through this revelation feeling like sometimes a season is needed to go back to in order for you to rectify within yourself why it is that you left or why it is that you need to stay. So I thought I would come on here and share this with you all because I just found it to be interesting because knowing how I am, I'm just a cut and dry girl. Once I leave something, I leave. Once I say something, I say it. Anything that I do, I mean it with everything in me. So It was interesting to have this revelation within myself to think like, dang sis, like you really are considering going back to something that wasn't necessarily bad for you, wasn't necessarily good at the time, but you're going back to it because you need to rectify within yourself why it is that you feel so attached to these people, why it is that you're still connected to these people, and why it is that you're connected and attached, but you don't have any bad, like there's no bad blood. But there was a toxic dynamic. So yeah, thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, like it. If you don't, I mean, it's whatever.